afternoon, everyone. It was a soggy start this morning. Rain totals coming in near a half inch for many of us, and some of us a little bit more than that, especially if you're south and southeast of Lima. That is where we got in on some of the heavier rainfall bands earlier this morning. In fact, Wapakoneta, the big winner, with over eight tenths of an inch of rain. We had nearly three quarters in Kenton, just over a half inch in Lima, as well as Van Wert. Bluffton, as you head northeast of here, a little bit lighter rainfall of just under four tenths of an inch and around three tenths of an inch observed around Ottawa. So at least we all got in on rain. And again, we have been running a bit of a deficit for April. So with the growing season underway, and now that some of the farmers have planted, not a bad thing to get some moisture out there. It was a steady slow rain. And now we're seeing some improvements. Just a few isolated, the scattered sprinkles, very brief showers, but the widespread rain, it has lifted north of the area. We zoom out the view. That rainfall that we started off with is now up its way toward Detroit there, Lansing, Michigan, and wrap it around portions of Indiana as well. We will see less rain coverage for the rest of the day today. So just some very hit and miss showers, but there will be dry hours to get outside if you need to run any errands. Rain shouldn't be too big of a deal for most of the time for the rest of the day. Temperatures. They do vary quite a bit. We see 49 in Pawning and Defiance. There is a warmer tongue of air beginning to move in southeast of here, where temperatures are at 57 in Belfound. We have temperatures up to 58 in Sydney, and there will be a big range in temperatures this afternoon. We have an area of low pressure pretty well right on top of us. So if you're southeast of the low, you're getting more of that south influence of the wind. So that's pumping in warmer air. You're also going to see a few peaks of sunshine in those areas as well. But to the northwest, we are on the cooler side, we see that northeast wind, even some influence from Lake Erie. So that's bringing in a cooler punch of air for you guys. So as we get into 4 p.m. today, low 50s northwest, upper 60s southeast, and around the low 60s and upper 50s around Allen County. But again, for a much drier the rest of the day today, just plan on a few of those isolated pockets of rain. They don't last very long. As we make our way into the evening hours at 7 p.m., we will begin to see some wraparound moisture. So any breaks in the clouds will fill back in. We'll have a few pockets of uh, drizzle possible, especially through midnight tonight. And then as we get into tomorrow morning, we should be fairly dry to start off our day on Saturday. I think overall Saturday will be a decent weather day. We'll start off with cloudy skies, a few peaks of sunshine by noon, and then mainly cloudy for the afternoon hours. But temperatures will make, make their way back into the 60s. As we check out our skycast tomorrow, most of Saturday will be dry and fairly warm by the afternoon. And then we'll see a band of rain. Rain chances begin to pick up after 6 p.m. on our Saturday evening with some scattered showers. We'll see a few more scattered showers roll through on Sunday. It will be breezier and cooler for the second half of the weekend. Our high Sunday is 55, so I would say definitely tomorrow's the pick day for any outdoor activities compared to Sunday. And that wind just continues to pick up Monday and Tuesday with a few more scattered showers. And we will kick off May on a chilly note with highs only in the upper 40s. Monday and Tuesday.